Yo mama, I'm your daddy, I'm the doctor in the kitchen. I'm your cooker man. Now look, check me out. It's been a little minute, I think probably over a week or so before I made a video of me cooking and I'm back. So, yeah, 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 we got a few items, few ingredients, except for the grits, don't mind the grits, but we got a few ingredients that we're gonna use today. And this is the star of the show. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna start with our lamb loin chops. And basically, we're gonna make sure that we get all of the excess water, sweat, hydration off of those. And then we're gonna salt and pepper those. Next, I want you to take your Yukon Golds. Make sure they all washed off. Take you some extra virgin olive oil. Make sure your olive oil ain't been slept with. That's the best kind. You know what I'm saying? Who likes a dirty, dirty olive oil? Nobody. Make sure you get some in your pot, your pan, your skillet. You know what I mean? Make sure you get that oil all around. Because potatoes are going to go in there. We are going to pan roast these potatoes. All right, get your salt and pepper in there. Go down with some fresh rosemary. Oh, today we got two skillets running. We came to cook, cook. Take that bacon. Go ahead and get that all fried up. Looking good. I got two pots and they're cooking at the same time. These are skillets. I keep saying pot, but you know what? It's a skillet. Very clearly, they are both skillets. And they both cooking at the same time. <laughs> Alright, y'all. When you're baking look like that, it is clearly ready to come out the skillet. Okay, so as you can see, we have this nice bacon grease bacon fat left over and I know a lot of y'all like to bottle that because that's what your grandmas used to do and I would too if I wasn't just going to go ahead and throw these brussels sprouts right on up in there that's what I need for you to do too you're going to take some salt and pepper and, and, and season up these brussels sprouts in the meantime you're going to go ahead and get back to your potatoes we, we done turned those a couple times you're going to add a little bit of water to the bottom of your skillet. And that will continue the cooking process. And you're going to cut this fire down some. And you're just going to allow this to now start to simmer. Alright. Okay. So these are pretty much done. And I know what you're thinking. Ew, those are... No. That is roasted, and that is flavored, and that is perfect. This one's still going. Again, we got it on a light simmer. These are going to cook these potatoes, so don't you fret. Don't fear. Don't worry. This process will cook these potatoes perfectly for you. All right. Now that we've cleaned our skillet, our Brussels sprouts are put to the side. We got it a high heat going. And we're going to hit it with that high heat, high smoke avocado oil because the main event is about to arrive. Oh, as you can see, we've already chopped up our bacon. That is going on top of the Brussels sprouts. Now, lamb cooks very quickly. So you really need three minutes per side, especially if you're going to go with a medium rare like I am. So the first thing you want to do is get it down on that fat. Render down the fat first because that part is just as edible and juicy as the rest of the steak. So render down that fat. Make sure you hit that first. Get a nice sear on there. And then you're going to lay down your lamb two to three minutes per side depending on the flavor that you like for your lamb. I'm going with a medium rare. So after, so after you've gotten the nice little crust to your fat you lay down both sides of your lamb and let that cook for three minutes as I specified and then I'm bring you back when I flip it over 
All right, so it's been two minutes. Let's flip it over, see what we got. A nice crust, beautiful. Oh, this one is beautiful. Ooh, perfect. I don't know what happened right here, but it's okay, because we redeemed it with this one right here. Now, you are going to take you some garlic, shallot, and that rosemary, and get that in there. And of course, but not yet. We're gonna go down with some butter. Let that cook for another three minutes and then we're gonna set that to the side, those lamb chops. All right, so we have removed our lamb and we're gonna go back in, leave everything else in, go back in with some olive oil. And then I want you to take some of your white mushrooms, no stems, we don't need no stems for this. And I want you to get let that do its thing. All right. Once those mushrooms get a chance to cook, maybe just two minutes or so, make sure you go down with you some beef broth. And hey, don't you don't have to heavily salt this. So get that beef broth in there. Cut that fire down a bit, and just let that simmer down. All right, now that you've let that cook for about two minutes or so, take you a nice bottle of red. I really like this apothic. This is a blend, and I truly enjoy this red wine. And now, you get that red in there, and let that mix with the rest of those flavors, and you're gonna let that cook down into a nice roux. When that chills a bit, then we're gonna add the butter. But again, you know, I'm gonna bring you on camera for that. All right, now when you see everything almost slightly is boiled off, you cut that fire down, add to a little butter, and thus, your sauce is born. Look, that looks beautiful. That by itself is delicious. But to take it up a notch, you're going to take some balsamic. Some goat cheese. And that bacon. And last, you are going to take your sauce. Make sure you get your taters. And make sure you get your lamb. Perfect, medium rare. Bussin'.